Hi, here's Sand from Königsmark, and um, this time I would like to give you a brief introduction of how my new plugin People in Motion Release 2 works um, in combination, for instance, with uh, Death Studio. So, uh, Death Studio supports two different kinds of characters by default, which is uh, Genesis 2, and the newer one is Genesis 3. Both types are supported by People in Motion, so to demonstrate this, I'm picking a Genesis 2 female base object here. And uh, let's say we add a little bit of gloss, like uh, this denser outfit, which is also included, and uh, the hair. So these are all included objects. If you download the studio, you get them all for free. Uh, but of course, there are many, many more objects and characters you can get from the store as well. So if you're done with setting up the character, you head over to File, Export, and I'm choosing the FBX format, which uh, I think works best for our purpose. So I'm using Genesis 2 and uh, Female Dancer as a name. Saving this. Um, I'm embedding the textures to the file and I'm collecting the textures to a separate folder, folder as well, so it's easier to archive them. And I'm merging the class parts into the figure skeleton, so everything is controlled by just one joint rig. We just have to export the figures because there's no animation, lights and cameras we will set up in cinema, so it's just interested in the figures. And so we accept these settings and this starts the export dialog, uh, which is uh, finished right now. So we head over to Cinema 4D and we open up the file that we have just saved, which is the Genesis 2 Female Dancer FBX. Again, this opens up uh, import settings. We need geometry, uh, normals, should be included, as well as textures and materials. And of course, we like to have an active deformation set up so we can uh, pose and animate the character right away. So you can see that uh, this imports the Genesis 2 character here with all the materials. Here is the joint hierarchy with all the polygon objects set up. So. This is the moment when the People in Motion comes into play, so People in Motion Controller, which basically is a separate kind of rig that has some uh, easy controls included for animation and uh, different kinds of walks and simple crowd simulations. So to combine those or to bind them together, uh, we just have to link the joints to these fields we find here in the basic settings. So uh, you could do this one by one, but uh, as uh, the Genesis type characters are already s supported here by default, you can see that we have them in the list besides Access Design, for instance, or Autodesk Rigs. Um, you just have to choose the right type here. So there's Genesis 2 in this case, and just link the hip joint to the right slot and then hit just load. So this will fill up all the slots here with all the um, joints in the hierarchy. So if you're happy with the constraints here, if everything is set up correctly, we constrain this and basically we can already head over to the motion designer, or switch over to animate and then switch over to Motion Designer, you can see that the character already changed its pose. I'm just adding a couple of frames to the preview range and you can see that this is sort of an idle stance um, the character is doing right now. Uh, but you can increase the stride so you can basically define the speed of the walk between very slow normal speed and running speed. 
And all of this can be combined with, for instance, walking up or down steps, or you can mix in some uh, sitting down and standing up animations, or you have individual arm poses, for instance, for holding a bag or grabbing a handrail, holding a mobile device or waving or picking up the phone, pulling a trolley behind, things like that. So it's quite easy to choose from uh, these predefined settings. Um, Beside that, there's uh, a motion designer built in. So when we have this uh, typical walk animation, you can fine tune the uh, predefined walk. For instance, if you see that the legs are or the feet are a little bit too far from each other, you can correct this by offsetting the moving feet here. So it's basically actually fun to play with the different kinds of walks uh, you can create here with the more sexy hip for instance or having some more bounce in the hip movement so this is all controlled simply by sliders and can of course be exported or imported if you have some settings that do you like so much that you uh, would like to use them with other characters as well. And you can combine this all with uh, inverse kinematics. So you can see that we have inverse kinematics built in and we have built in some simple crowd functionality. So we have curves, magnets, we have reflectors, we have seat objects, we have stairs, escalators, elevators, everything built in. So that uh, you can control um, large amounts of uh, character groups without having to animate them all by hand. So that's basically the workflow uh, between Death Studio and Cinema 4D via the People in Motion plugin.